Let's have a break. We've worked for a dozen men and now it's time to take a rest. Hi, get us some pints of Sven's special stout. I'll buy a round. I... <sighs> is she to be buried in Christian burial that will fully seek her own salvation? I tell thee she is and therefore make a grave straight. The crown I have set on her and finds a Christian burial. How can that be? Unless she drowned herself in her own defense. Why, it is found so. It must be, see a fellow, it cannot be else. For here lies the point. If I drown myself wittingly, it argues an act. An act has three branches. It is to act, to do, to perform. And therefore, she must have drowned herself wittingly. Nay, but hear you, good man Delver. Give me leave. Here lies the water. Here stands the man. Good. If the man go through this water and drowns himself, it is, will he, nil he, he's gone, mark you that. But, if the water comes to him and drowns him, he don't not himself, and therefore, uh, he that is not guilty of his own death shortens not his own life. But is this law? Aye, Mary, is it? Come on, quest law. Will you have the truth on? If this had not been a gentle woman, she should have been buried out of Christian burial. Aye, there thou sayest. And the more pity is that great folk should have conscience in this world to hang or drown themselves more than they even Christian. Come, my spade. There's no ancient gentleman but gardeners, stitchers, and grave makers. They hold up Adam's profession. Was he a gentleman? He was the first that ever bore arms. Why, he had none. What? Art a heathen? How dost thou understand the scripture? The scripture says Adam dig. How could he dig without arms? Huh? Ah, there thou art. Let's have a drink. Scarlet. Go. I'll put another question to thee. If thou answers me not to the purpose, go, confess thyself. Go to. What is he that will stronger than the mason, the shipwright, or the carpenter? The gallows maker. For that frame outlived the thousand tenants. 
I like thy wood well, and good faith. The gallows does well, but how does it well? The gallows does well to those that do win. But uh, are you ill to say the gallows does better than the church? Argel, the gallows may do well to thee. To it again, come. Who builds stronger than a mason, a shipwright or a carpenter? Ay, tell me that, Anjo. Mary, now I can tell. Do it. Yes, I cannot tell. Cudgel thy brains no more about it, for your dull ass will not mend pace with beating. But if you ask this question next, say the grace maker. For his houses stand still doomsday. Go to Jaugen, catch me a super flicker. A pick X and a spade is paid. Has this fellow no feeling of his business that he thinks that grave making? Custom hath made it in him a property of easiness. Tis ain't so. The, little, the hand of little employment hath the dentier sense. And youth, when I did love, did love me, though it was very sweet to contract so the time for my behove, or me though there was nothing meet. That skull had a tongue in it, and could sing once. How the knave yields it to the ground as if it were Cain's jawbone that did the first murder. It might be the pate of a politician, which this ass now overreaches. One that Kirkenvent got. Might it not? It might, my lord. Or for courtier, which could say, Good morrow, sweet lord. How dost thou, good lord? It might be my lord, such a one's, that praised my lord such a one's horse, when he meant to beg it. Might it not? Hey, my lord. Why ain't so? And now my lady warms, chapless, and knocked about the mazard with a Saxon spart. He is fine revolution, and we had a trick to see it. Did these bones cost them all the breeding, but to pay at loggers with them? Mine act to think on. A pick, X and a spade, a spade for, and a shrouding sheet, or a pit of clay for to be made for such a guest. Whose grave's this, sire? Mine, sire! For a pit of clay for to be made, for such a guest is meet. I think it be thine indeed, for thou liest in. Thou liest out of it, therefore it is not yours. For my part, I don't lie in it, and yet it is mine. Thou dost lie in, to be in, and say is thine. It is for the dead, not for the quick, therefore thou liest. It's a quick lie, sir. Rule away again from me to you. What man dost thou dig it for? For no man, sir. What woman then? For none neither. Who's to be buried in? One that was a woman once, but, rest her soul, she's dead. How absolute the neighbors. We must speak by cart or equivocation will undo us. By the Lord, Horatio, these three years I have taken a note of it. Time grows so picket that the toe of the peasant comes so near the heel of the courtier. He gives his kipe. How long hast thou been a grave maker? For all the days in the year, I have came here on that day that young Hamlet overcame Fortinbras. How long is that since? Cannot you tell that? Every fool can tell that. <laughs> it was the very day that our young Hamlet was born, he that is mad and sent into England. Aye, Mary, why was he sent to England? Why? Because he was mad. He was sent there to recover his wits, or if he do not, it's not great man. there. Why? It will not be seen in him there. There the men are as mad as he. How came he mad? Very strangely, I say. How strangely? By faith, he in losing his wits. From what ground? Why, here in Denmark, I've been Saxon here. Man a boy, thirty years. How long will a man lie in the earth, eh, he what? By faith. If he be not rotten before he dies, as we have many pokey courses nowadays, they will scarce hold the laying in. He will last you some... eight or nine years. A tenor will last you nine years. Why he more than another? Why? His hide is so tanned with his straight that he will keep out the water a great while, and your water is a great sore decayer of your horse of dead body. Here's the skull now. The skull has lain in the earth three and twenty years. Whose was it? A horse of mad fellows it was. Who do you think it was? Nay, I know not. A pestilence on him for a mad rogue. It put a flagon of Rhenish ones in my head. This 
Skull was Yorick's skull. The King's Jester. This? Enid. Let me see. Alice, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. He hath worn me on his back a thousand times. And now, how abort in my imagination it is. My gorge wins at it. Here hung those lips that I have kissed I know not how oft. Where be your gibes now, your gambols, your songs, your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on the wall? Horatio, tell me one thing. What's that, my lord? Dost thou think Alexander looked over the fashion in the earth? Even so. And smell so? Ah. Even so, my lord. To what base use may return, Horatio? Why may not imagination trace the noble dust of Alexander till he find it stopping a bunghole? Try to consider too curiously to consider so. Fare thee well, we have to leave. Fare thee well. No, Faith, not a judge. But to follow him died with modesty enough and likelihood to lead it. As thus Alexander died, Alexander was buried, Alexander returned into dust. The dust is earth, of earth and loam. And why of that loam, whereto he was converted? Might there not stop a beer barrel? Imperius Caesar, dead and turned to clay, Might stop a hole to keep the wind away. Oh, that that earth, which kept the world in awe, Should patch a wall to expel the winter of war.